Hello and welcome to a bit different video this time. Like most of you, I've been staying home mostly, social distancing, of course, and I've been thinking a little bit about what kind of photography can I do at home. Since I have a lot of plants, I was thinking I could do some interesting macro photography, but I have to admit my results haven't been that great. I think it's partly because I don't really have a proper macro lens, I just have this telephoto lens with a macro ability. So the results were okay, and then I tried to do some double exposures, but that didn't work out at all, it was terrible. Need to work a bit more on that, I think. Since that didn't work, I started thinking what can I actually do that is a bit different. So I started going through my classes, see what I could find, and I found this old enlarger lens. Or to be more precise, it's a condenser lens which sits above the negative and gathers or concentrates the light onto the negative. But that doesn't matter. What matters is it's a very big lens and it can be used to enlarge things and it gives quite interesting results. I tried it out on some plants and was quite positively surprised and I took some time to set up a quick studio with just some basic desktop lamps to see what kind of results I could get. First of all, I should mention that there are two lens elements in this lens and I only use one at a time when photographing. I didn't remove the metal tube from the second because it works quite well as a lens hood for blocking out stray light from entering in the lens. One way to use it is to hold the lens in one hand and the camera in the other and be sure to have a light camera when you're doing this otherwise your hands will start hurting quite soon and then move either the lens or the camera or both closer and further away from the subject to see what effect it creates. I also tried different focal lengths on my camera lens uh, and it is possible to get varying perspectives. So there are definitely sort of variations available when using this lens. Using just one lens element really brings out all the things you normally try to avoid in lenses like chromatic aberration, soft focus, or more precisely there is no sharp focus at all really but I'm not using it to get super sharp focus, but to see what weird effects I can get from it. Let's start experimenting with some plants. I tried a few different plants, but this one turned out to be the most interesting one. I don't know what it is called, but probably it has a cool name. The shape of the leaves works really well for this type of lens, and the thick leaves appear very three-dimensional, which also has to do with the narrow focus, but there seems to be something more going on with this lens because some of these shots seem strangely three-dimensional. Zooming out and moving the lens further away creates this quite interesting psychedelic effect. This is quite wonderful indeed. Alright, so what more than plants can we experiment with? Well, I just happen to have a whole bunch of old CPUs lying around. I've been thinking about using these for photography for a while now, that's why I've been collecting them, but I've not found a good use for them yet. Maybe this lens will spark some magic into it. Let's start with a classic A486. The pins on the back create quite an interesting effect when moving around, and you can probably see that quite a few of them are bent. And I guess that's why newer CPUs don't have pins sticking out anymore. And then continuing with a Pentium, and I have to say this is probably my favorite one to photograph with. I like how the pins stretch out at the edges, and actually having a Pentium written in the middle helps a lot too, I think. Continuing with a little bit newer lens, a 64-bit AMD from 2005, which for some reason still has pins sticking out. But I don't know, this one didn't work very well, maybe because the pins are a little bit smaller than on the older CPUs, so it's below the ideal size for what the condenser lens can enlarge. And this Pentium 4 has the same problem, it's too small, or actually the, it's the standard CPU size of today. But actually I found a way to solve this problem, or a way to get a little bit longer focal length. If you take both lens elements and place the flat sides towards each other, it turns out it enlarges a lot more. And it worked quite well here, I think it became 
more interesting photograph this way. Well, what if we try a little bit bigger computer parts? I happen to have this old SCSI card lying around and I don't have any use for such a thing anymore. So it seems like quite a good candidate for some experimentation. And I have to say the results here are quite interesting as well. Each uh, solder point on the car becomes a stretched out line towards the edges. And also some interesting chromatic aberration is happening here. I really like the effect that is created. Finally, let's go back to something a little bit more organic. The only fruits I happen to have at the moment in the fridge are some oranges. Need to go shopping, I think. And maybe this round shape might work quite well for this lens. But I have to say the results are just okay though. Definitely not as interesting as the other subjects. I might get some more fruits later on and see what I can do with those. I'm sure I can also make some interesting fruit photos with this lens. Yeah, so I'm really happy with these results I got from my experimentation and I will definitely be doing some more of this with some different objects, different lights, so on. Now you might think it's not possible for you to do that at your home because probably you don't have a, a lodger hidden away in your storage which you can take parts from. But if you think about it, an enlarger is just a projector and I found out that like other type of projectors like overhead machines or whatever slide projectors might have similar lenses in them. So it's just, you know, like go through your closets or storage and see what interesting things you can find and yeah, just being creative with whatever random things you might have lying around. So thank you for watching and see you in maybe a similar video soon. Bye.